Hi, I'm Kelly Lace. Let's lace up. When I was a little kid, we lived in Canada and every winter we pulled out our ice skates. Well, those ice skates laced up from way down on the toe all the way up well past the ankles, row after row after row of laces. Well, I had fat little feet, I still do. And those laces had to be loosened all the way down to the toe. Put my little foot in there, then laced, tightened back up row after row after row. I just couldn't do it. I could not get them tight enough. So my mom or my big sister would sit me down and make me sit still long enough to tighten row after row after row and get me laced up properly. See, if I wasn't laced up properly, I didn't have the support I needed. Well, it's the same thing in life. If we don't lace up properly, we aren't going to have the support we need. I needed their help. I needed them. We need each other. We're not created to be isolated people. That's why the Bible tells us in Hebrews 10, 25, forsake not the assembling of yourselves together. Don't neglect getting together. Well, we can't do that right now because of the coronavirus pandemic. We are under quarantine. We are exercising social distancing. That's okay for some people. We have two or three people around us. Other people are very, very isolated. We can't forget the second half of that verse. It says, don't neglect getting together. Exhort, encourage each other. Exhort and encourage one another. See, we forget that part of it sometimes. Just because we can't get together in groups, we can't go to church like we used to, we can't do things the way we've always done them, doesn't mean that we can't reach out and encourage each other. There are people right now that are at home alone. They have no one in their world. They're isolated. You may be one of those people. You may be saying, I'm lonely. No one has even called me. No one has checked on me. If you're one of those people, I'm so sorry. Don't feel like no one cares because I care. There are people who care. But I want to challenge you and ask you, who have you called? Have you reached out? See, you may know someone right now who is also isolated but isn't seeing this video and being encouraged to reach out. It may not come natural to you, but Proverbs 18:24 tells us that if we're going to have friends, we have to be friendly. May not be your comfort zone, may not be something you're really good at, so to speak, I can talk to anyone anywhere. It's just, I've always been that way. But if you're not one of those people, if you're not a natural conversationalist, I wanna give you some tips, a plan today. You've got someone on your mind that you might wanna reach out to right now. Just give them a call. I wanna give you this plan. Write down three things you wanna ask them about. Maybe you know they have a, a job or a particular hobby or kids or pets. Ask them about those things. Start off though by asking how they're doing. People just need to know you care. Ask how they're doing and then listen. Listen to what they say. You'd be surprised how much will come out of that just by listening. Ask them about those things and then come up with two things that you want to tell them about your life. They may ask how you're coping with the isolation of quarantine. For me, I might say, well, I've got a lot more time on my hands. I can work in my flower bed or my garden. Wish I could share the tomatoes, but I'll have to enjoy them alone. There are things we can talk about. You may be lonely right now, but if you will reach out to someone else who may be lonely, you can be the answer to their prayer. You'd be surprised how much that will bless you 
You won't be nearly as lonely when you meet someone else's need where that is concerned. So lace up, be an answer to someone else's prayer. Reach out, even if they aren't really thrilled to hear from you, let that roll off your back like water off a duck's back. Let it go and call someone else. But reach out, forsake not getting together. Encourage one another. My prayer for you today is that you not be lonely during this time, but that you spend time with the Lord, that you reach out to someone that you know may be lonely, that you come out of your comfort zone, be an answer to somebody else's prayer. See you next time. Bye-bye.